is Janice Laroche. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator with Stampin' Up! I thank you for tuning in today. I hope you liked today's project. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and click like and comment and let me know how things are. Thank you for watching and let's get started on today's project. Today we're going to make little uh, sticks. I have a little boy and a little girl bunny here. And I have a little Easter basket that we're going to make out of uh, DSP and uh, some cardstock too. But all right, let me tell you what you are going to need. Unfortunately, it's retired. You'll need a piece of cardstock and we are using Bengal Melody. You'll need a piece three and a half by four and a half. Then you will need a piece of DSP. We're not using the flowery side. I'm going to use a striped side because I'm going to give this to a little boy. And that is two inches by 12. Then you'll need a 12 inch strip of the Mingle Melody. And then you'll need a little strip about eight inches. And I cut off a quarter of an inch of that too in a different pattern on the other way around so that's it for your basket then for your bunny and your stick we're going to need four one and a half inch circles two half inch circles a bunny tail I didn't show you the back <laughs> the back has the bunny tails right um, I used the scal or the layering um, ovals, so I cut out the smallest scallop. Yeah, they are layering ovals. Yes, and the smallest um, oval. So I cut four of them out in the same color as the the basket we're doing. Then you will need oh where to put them? Oops, <laughs> two eyes, and these are just. Uh, a regular hole punch right and you'll need a tongue and a nose and that's just a regular um, punch too and I just did them out of pink petal pink I have two extras there I don't know why um, I used a half inch circle for these and the one and a half inch circle for those and you will need some sort of stick I use these um, stirrer sticks that my husband had, so we're just going to use those. I couldn't find my popsicle sticks. You could use a straw, um, <clears throat> the ribbon. I used a petal pink on her bow on her ear. And on this one, I used the, whatever that one was, some sort of bourbon, uh, Knight of Navy um, gingham ribbon. And of course, that's retired too sorry and then we're going to use this gorgeous grape striped ribbon is it striped it's gorgeous grape uh, mini striped ribbon I'm going to use that on oh I can't use it on him oh what am I going to use I'll find a ribbon anyway but you do need a like a bow tie for a boy or a ribbon for a girl I was going to do um like purple posy but then I realized I needed a boy one so we're doing a boy one and you'll need a pom-pom for the tail um, I got a whole bag of these pom-poms they're only a couple of dollars and I used them um, a lot last year and I haven't really used any this year so this is the first time I've used them you'll need some filler to put in your baskets and some candy trying to think what else now I did <laughs> that this is a take off my friend Dana Sullivan who uploaded her video yesterday too it was a video hop so there's like five six seven of us that got together and we did a video hop on the all dressed all dressed up dyes and it made the bags and Dana's had a little bunny on the front of her bag 
and I thought it was the cutest thing. So I sort of just adapted it to a, you know, put on a stick. And you could use it as a little, uh, like, put it in there like so. You know, so the kids can, uh, it'll be in their basket. You could wrap it in a little style, uh, little plastic baggie too. Anyways, getting off subject. See all these holes? That was me punching out holes to try to do eyes. And I could not do them to save my life. They looked cross-eyed. They were horrible. Every every one I tried, they were horrible. So I ended up, I put little, um, <laughs> these are old too, neutral candy dots. She's got two for eyes. And for um, the boy, this is old as well. Use what you've got, right? Um, I use googly eyes. So that's what he's got on his eyes. <laughs> So I don't know what I'm going to use on this one. I'll try doing the the eyes for real again and let you and show you what I do. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I can't do eyes. <laughs> Thank goodness for stamps. <laughs> Anyways, for the eyes, you will need like a um a stamping chalk marker or a gel pen, not a white gel pen. Try that as well. I tried both, and then you'll need a black pen to draw your um little feet and oh i didn't do her little cheekies all right we've got little cheeks on the boy so i'll show you little cheeks on the boy all right and i have a pick-me-up tool to put stuff down you'll need some liquid glue and i think that's about it i will have it all listed on my blog for you so let's make the bunny first how about that <laughs> put this poor thing out my way right so you get your two circles and take some liquid glue and we're going to glue those together and just put a little bit there on the bottom and we'll put this one on the top like so as long as it's just on there a little bit okay then let's do our feet and our ears so we take all four and we make sure they're the right way. Is that the right way? Yeah, it's the right way. There's a right way and a wrong way. It looks right. It looks like it's curving down this way. And that way you can see it's not. It's straight and it's a uh, thingy. So make sure you've got them the right way. Not that it really makes a hell of a beans of difference. But all right, let's see if we can. Why is my glue not coming out? Now I'm going to have glue on my hands. Okay. Let's try again. All right, we'll get a different bottle of glue. And then just center it on your um, thing, on the scalped one. See if you're coming out yet. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's good enough. <gasps> Did it backwards, see? Oh, that's what I get. It doesn't matter. This one's backwards. There we go. Turn them over and then I'll do them backwards. And again. Just need a scrape of glue. You don't need a lot. Goes a long way. If you put too much, it takes forever to dry. It's lumpy. So just put them on as best you can. There we go. And one more. There we go. Okay. Now, I do need this. I'll let them dry for a minute. All right. So on here, we're going to put our little tongue. And the best way I found was to actually use glue dots. All right. So let's use some glue dots. And I'm going to put about right there. So it's about a quarter of an inch up from the bottom of the circle on there. Oh, I don't have any else. Take it off. Yeah. Now use the other side to pick up tool and plop it on there. 
there we go so that's the mouth now we'll do the same for the cheeks we'll get a glue dot there and a glue dot there now you can use liquid glue if you like I tend to use too much is my problem even with that tip on these little face things I'm all right on big items and just pick up your uh, two things and we're going to overlap them over the tongue and just slightly over each other and push them down don't know if you can see that right and then we'll do the nose need another glue dot and we stick it at the top right there peel off so that's our nose and then we'll try our eyes let's give it a go well put an eye there <laughs> i keep wanting to pick the eye up maybe i can leave them for eyes <laughs> like a snowman with a red nose we could color it red all right okay i've got little glue dots pick up pick up pick up let's see put you here put it on the cheek there we go and we'll pick that one up and we'll put that one on that cheek now if i leave them like that i'm fine but i try to uh make them look like they have pupils <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, so we'll try the chalk marker. And the thing is, it soaks in. So you have to go over it a few times. All right, so we're just going to do the eyes like so. All right, we have little eyes on there. <laughs> That'll do for now. And if it doesn't work out, I use Googles or uh, Googlies or a little uh, candy dots. <laughs> okay, this should be dry enough now. So Bend it over, hold on to the bottom, and bend your ear just a little bit. Yeah, just the ears. You don't have, I'll leave that for foot. You don't have to use it on the feet. All right, so just bend it a bit. And then take your feet, and we'll put some glue on those. Um, that's going to the left, so we'll put, actually easier to put glue here. And here. All right. So we want to put it up to the, where the face is and then here as well and up to about where the face is so that should be pretty cool right about there then our ears we're going to decide where we want them and we'll put some glue on the bottom and glue on this piece and line them up I think I want them like that and then just plop your little head on top of them as that there All right now if you have other suggestions for eyes you use eyes how you like but oh my gosh I couldn't get these eyes to go All right, I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to put a dollop of glue in the middle and stick my little pom-pom on there and that's for his tail. I'm going to let that dry for a bit. And uh, we can do this too. Put some glue all the way up there to the bottom. Get our stick on. It only takes like a minute to make the basket. It's a really quick and easy project you can make for your kid with your kids. Um, especially right now while they're at home quarantined you know with the, the pandemic we have going around the world I hope everybody is safe and uh, behaving and uh, not doing anything to uh, overly get themselves in any sort of uh, trouble we all want you to stay well. So you now you just stick these two circles on the back of your um, bunny's stick. So that will make your bunny on a stick. <laughs> right. Let's start our uh, bag. I'll leave that open. 
All right, so now I have three bunnies. Woohoo! These are really quick and easy, let me tell you. Okay, so we have our three and a half by four and a half inch piece of cardstock, and we're going to let's fold and burnish. Do that first. Fold and burnish. So it's got a nice crease in it. And again. And again. Now this will determine the size of your basket. You know, if you want to do a smaller one, you can do a smaller one. But um, I didn't think it would actually hold as much. But my goodness, it does. It holds quite a bit. Right, so cut up. And cut up. We'll do all four cut-ups first on all four sides. And then what we'll do is we'll miter it in. So we will just cut on an angle, just on the tabs, on the flaps. So miter on an angle. And there too. You don't need a great big one like I did there, but try and do it small. Doesn't really matter. I'm not going to see them. They are going to be in between. We're going to do this backwards. As I'll show you in a minute. So you don't see the inside of the box. So what we'll do is we'll fold this up. And we'll fold that up. And we will put a little spot of glue here. And here. And here. And there. And we're going to glue on the outside of our box right so hold it right on the corner press it and hold it till it sticks we we'll do the same with this side it should be stuck to this one then this one so we have a nice inside of our box you won't have you won't see this it's going to be covered so that's why it's best to do it on the outside then you just see the inner of your box or of your basket Easter basket All right okay so that is that so then you take your 12 inch strip and we're not using the flower side we're going to use this side and I think what I'll do yeah I'll just use glue I was going to use a uh, no, I use the strip. I had one right here. Where'd you go? Well, I was going to use it. I found it. Tear and tape. <laughs> you can use glue or tear and tape or regular tape, whatever you want to use. So I'm going to just use the tear and tape for quickness. It really is a quick project. And it's quite easy to make with the children. So get them moving. Make make them do a craft. There you go. So peel that all off. Right, so we're going to I'll start like sort of in the middle. You don't have to be exact. Now put this, hold it down and hold it onto the bottom of your thing. So make sure it's touching the bottom. Go around the corner and again go around that corner make sure it's still touching the paper here and again and uh, one last time and it will overlap just slightly there right oh I didn't quite get that I wonder if that will come off See if I can get it down a little further. There, that's better. Right now, for this top part, the little gap here, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue, like so, and glue that. So we have our basket, just the corners, right? And then we'll take our other cardstock 12 inch piece. And we're going to put it slightly off the center. And yes, I'm going to do the same thing. This is really easier. Tear and tape to the rescue. Okay. 
All right. Now peel off. There we go. <clears throat> so we're going to line this up with the top of our basket. So we'll put it to the left of there. All right, it doesn't matter if it's not exact, but you don't want it down. You want to, if it's not exact, you want it up. So we'll try and do it exact. It's a little bit off. It's not going to matter too, too much. All right, we're getting there, we're getting there. And there should be probably a little gap here. Oh, there isn't. All right, good, good. All right, so we have that that ends almost close to that, which is okay because a handle is going to cover that piece. So that is that piece done. See how cute? I think that's adorable, right? Now we take our <clears throat> strap, and this is about eight inches long, and we are going to stick that on the glue. I probably should have done this already. Put a bead of glue down the center, like that. And we'll put our striped side up. And this is just over a half an inch thick. And this was a quarter of an inch. Oh, it doesn't have to be exact. We'll cut that off, it's not gonna matter. All right. And then we'll try and bend it just a little bit. So just shape it slightly with your bone folder and add some glue here. If my glue would work, we'd be doing great. I think I need a different glue. All right, let me get another glue. Yeah. Well, this one comes out too much, too fast. But oh, let's see. Oh, yep, 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 yep. All right, so we want a bit of glue there, and we're going to stick our handle over that crease and hold it. I put too much glue on, so I sort of kind of have to hold it for a little while. I'll clean all that off. All right, you could put it on the inside if you want, but I liked it on the outside. You could put something over it to cover it if you like, like the other one I could have done a flower on. This you could just do a square or a circle or some sort of shape on there. Put buttons on them. I'll put anything on there that the kids have that they can use. There we go. So there is our basket. Now if you wanted to, you could not use that stick and you could just put your bunny on here like so without the tail just put a bunny that's cute as well actually that's really cute on that one oh right so now what we want to do is we want to fill up a basket so let's see what we can get all this ready shreddy stuff in here i've just got white here and cover up the flowers since this is really for a little boy. He won't appreciate the flowers, I don't think. But, uh, well. I didn't realize when I was cutting up this paper that it was retired. I'm like, oh, okay. So I'm going to put my bunny in like there, like so. And then I'm going to take a bunch of candy and just lay it in. So I'll take like two of these little bunnies. And um, the peanut butter ones, two of those. Oh, there's a purple little uh, circle. Is there another circle? Oh, there's a yellow circle. Is that six? Here we go. Seven, eight. Um, we'll do another two. There. So we have little, ten little candies in there. How's that? Well, I hope you enjoyed this basket. Um. Yeah, since we're all quarantined, this is a real quick and easy project you could make with your kiddos. You can put anything in the baskets. You can make them up for, you know, grandparents and whatever. They put their favorite things in there. 
or make them for their friends when they finally get to go out and play with them again and all this stuff so thanks for watching um i appreciate it and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so i will have everything listed on my blog if you need any of the measurements again for um the products that I've used, even though well, most of this is retired, so there probably won't be too much on the list. Um, use what you have. If you don't have any cardstock or anything like that, use a cereal box. The kids would have a blast. Just cut up a cereal box and have them make them a little basket and a bunny. Right? Cut ovals, cut circles, use something for shapes that, you know that you have at home so you all have a great evening and once again thanks for watching and i'll be uploading another video soon so bye bye